Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. In this video, we'll introduce you to a Maya project with Arnold, rendered on the iRender cloud. In particular, it will be done on a 4RTX 3090 server. First, we need to create a server image, and select a server package. In this case, we'll select 4RTX 3090s. Notice that we need to set up the server image, for the first time only. It then will be saved, and reusable. Next, boot the image. It takes around 5 minutes. This process may take longer, according to the server image size. Once the image is booted successfully, the remote server is ready to use. The iRender system starts charging us at this step. To connect to the remote server, enter the credentials in the remote desktop connection file. We're on the remote server. Here, we need to set up Maya first. Notice that the software installer, we took from the X drive of the remote server. Don't worry, we just set up once. Because we already transferred the project folder, through the iRender sync app, called GPU Hub Sync. This folder is in the Z drive. One thing you need to keep in mind is that, Z drive is just a network drive. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives like C or desktop. Open the Maya project. As we talked about at the beginning of the video, we'll render the Maya project, with Arnold, and the use of GPU rendering. We already set up the render settings, just check it one more time before we click to render. In the meanwhile, we can check the GPU performance of 4 RTX 3090s in Task Manager. It's done. Check the output folder, then move it to Z drive. It is because these rendered files will be synced to the GPU hub sync that allows us to download later. When everything is done, we shut down the remote server in the iRender console. To receive the rendered results, open the GPU hub sync, and download the output folder to the personal computer. To sum up, we completed rendering the Maya project, using the Arnold renderer, with 150 frames. The rendering process is done on the 4 RTX 3090 server. The average render time is 27 seconds per frame with the image size of 1920 pixels for the width, and 1080 pixels for the height. That's the end of the video today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I render, happy rendering.